Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a little something I want to share with you today. I am about to load up, get ready for kayak fishing tomorrow. But um, not only going to be doing kayak fishing on the channel, I have a little boat, and this is a 1994 GNU on a 95 Magic Tilt trailer that my dad bought brand new when I was a kid. So when he bought it, it had a force, uh, four horsepower Evan Rude 1988 model that was brand new in the crate. But once I got the boat, I went ahead and switched it over to this 15. This is actually a 15 horsepower 1985 body that I found for, I think it was $30 and it was laying in the sand and the, the engine was all full of sand. So then I found a power head from an 88 and I swapped it in here. So ended up selling all the parts from the 88. It had a broken foot, everything else was fine. So I ended up selling all the parts for the 88, ended up making some money so that motor really didn't cost me anything. So as you can see, I mean, it's, it's an old boat. Seats need to be replaced. I just, it's been sitting for about a year and a half. So I just cleaned it up the other day. Need to get new seats. Need to get this thing ready for fishing, okay? So we have live well there, uh, dry storage there, dry storage under the seat, dry storage under this seat. And I have a trolling motor. It's pretty old, needs to be replaced. And an outdated bottom machine still works but it just doesn't give enough information and nowadays with technology you can get a nice unit for like 300 bucks so whenever i pulled it out i did have the battery back here for the trolling motor and i had this big wire here running up front through the rail and i decided to move the battery up front and after wiring this up and all really just don't like it there so i think i'm gonna have to move it back to the back i'm gonna leave it here for probably a couple fishing trips but i'm gonna put it underneath the seat back here i think it'll be nice and clean there i used to have it back here and that's i didn't like it it was too cluttered back here so i'm gonna redo it and then there's holes like right here so you can run the battery in there but it's a great setup we've caught so many fish on this boat Mom and dad used to live on the lake, so it sat in the water. So got a little more, you know, wear and tear on it. With this engine, this motor setup, I put the the planer on there and I changed the prop because the old prop, the bushing just stripped out. So instead of the factory 11 pitch, that's a 10 pitch. So this setup with me in it and my gear runs 23 miles per hour based on you know phone gps but just wanted to share this with you guys i'm going to do some upgrades i need to get a bottom machine that's better I need to get a trolling motor that's this one's probably actually okay we're going to run it find out but um i think it's just so old the brushes are wearing out and it just doesn't have the power it used to have so update that stuff new seats and plan on using this quite a bit for the channel because Sometimes the kayak just doesn't get, you don't have as much range. I mean, you're moving three miles per hour compared to 23 miles per hour. So, I've always loved this boat. It's a, it's a great piece and we're gonna, we're gonna use it on the channel more. So, back over here, like I said, gonna be in the Hobie tomorrow doing saltwater fishing. I took it out last Saturday, actually last Sunday, took some video but we just didn't catch enough so couldn't make a video gonna be fishing tomorrow saltwater down in we're in the panhandle of florida be fishing saltwater uh, speckled trout redfish triple tail whatever we can find and then also next friday and saturday be saltwater fishing so gonna hopefully have plenty of content coming up soon but there's a little boat Leave some comments on what we need to do to it. I actually found some wise low back seats, which is basically like that in dark brown. And they're on sale for $40 a piece. I think those things would look phenomenal on here. So I think I'm gonna order those up. Probably leave it, the rest of it set up the way it is. Let's start fishing with it. 
getting it in the water and we'll just do with the upgrades you know as the battery wears out we'll put the battery in the back as the trolling motor wears out and then as soon as i can i'll find a bottom machine for this thing hopefully uh you know get something with side imaging and down imaging because i think that's really important in fishing nowadays so there you go guys gonna do some fishing tomorrow hopefully see you soon again